Well, hello. It's time to venture into the forest. Get a lay of the land. And they seem to have rolled out the red carpet. That's weird. Hey, Robohat! Hey, that's me. Thanks for waiting. I've given Dennis his orientation. We didn't have much time, so Liv gave me the quick version. It doesn't look quick. Sorry I dragged you around. Are you feeling okay? I'll take care of Dennis. Why don't you go take a look around? Let's leave together. Give us a holler when you're ready. What happened? Dennis's constitution couldn't handle running at the speed of... slightly fast. Alright. Well, good friend, Shipley. Came to see the tournament grounds, or hat. This forest is huge. I had no idea it was going to be so dense and, well, foresty. It's going to be difficult even finding opponents tomorrow. Right. That's the challenge. You're not allowed in here until the tournament officially begins. Then why am I here? The tournament administration hall and medical room are beyond this point. We don't expect any trouble, but if you do have any medical needs, that's the place for you. Your green friend looks like he could have used our help for a seasickness. You know, just because he wears a green shirt doesn't mean he's green. Come on. Clean all my stuff for free! Thank you! Cost you five dollars? Ugh, I'd rather do it myself. Jeez. All my parts are cleaned anyway. Because I keep them in good top condition! I have to prepare myself for tomorrow. Will the competitor turkeys? I mean, competitor. Comp I can't get my lines right! I've never messed a word up once in my life. I can't relate. I have to remember where the... <laughs> I've never messed up a word in my life! I have to remember where to guide the competitors, the spectators, the injured. Uh, what if I said someone to the wrong place? Never once! I'm in charge of supplies. Jacobs will kill me if we run out of water or medkits tomorrow. For a brief moment, I was like, oh, is there a guy named Jacob? Like, finally he's just naming another NPC? No, no, it's... It's the president. We need to be prepared for tomorrow. It's the medical staff's job to prepare for the worst. I think it's a bit much to think we're going to have some huge disaster around here. The worst thing we'll have to worry about is heat stroke. You better watch yourself, you just chinked us. I doubt there'll be any injuries. Our biggest worry is probably going to be bug bites. We need to stock up on bug spray. You just jinxed us! Both of you! Also, these beds are high up off the ground, right? It could be a perspective thing, but it looks to be that they're about as tall as me. And, uh, I may be a child. But that's still like four feet tall, four and a half. I'm a high schooler, right? So I could be five something. Yeah, five something. Gee whiz. Well, that was fun. Anything over here? No? A big screen? Cool. Uh, this place sucks. We're going in. Okay. Alright, are you better yet? You wanna leave? Yeah. Let's go! Let's head back to our place. Liv, get out of here while I talk to Dennis. Everyone must have gone back to their rooms, so I guess we should get some sleep too. I think tomorrow will be fine. We'll send you. I'll. S we'll send you advice using my cell phone. See, I, I. For some reason, I had thought, you know, she was going to give me advice, but uh, she's referring to Dennis. Dennis, who doesn't know anything, will also give advice. Don't worry, okay? Good night, you guys. Yawn! Good night. Dennis, wh why are you walking without me, Dennis? You're gonna get lost, hurt, or worse, Dennis? What was my room? What? 201, right? This isn't my room. Unless you're trying to ambush me, huh? Okay. Uh... 
I don't, I don't remember my room, please. I must be on the third floor, of course. <laughs> yes, 301, that's of course my room. Let me in. Let me in! I forgot what my room number is, please! Have you ever been there? You go to a hotel and you're like, where's my room? Oh, I found it. So this must mean this is Dennis's. A stupid asleep. That's weird. You're not asleep. I'm too nervous to sleep. I'm gonna work on my customization till morning. Well, time to go to bed. This is weird. Usually, when my sleep chime ends, I'm already in bed. Rubblehead! Rubblehead! Wake up! I didn't even sleep. I didn't even get there. I just saw Liv leave the hotel and head toward the lab. Don't you think it's awfully late for her to be out? She's been acting a little odd lately. I'm worried, Rowhead. Let's go bring her back. <sighs> Dennis. You don't understand the value of sleep, Dennis. You're someone who sleeps all the time, Dennis. You don't understand what it's like for me. Someone who doesn't sleep at all. <sighs> Fine. I'm glad you said yes. Let's go after her. You're glad you said yes, so you wouldn't have to yell at me to do it anyway. Hmm. All right, here we go. Dennis, uh, you ever think that maybe Liv is just, I don't know, doing what she wants? I mean, I'm not going to say she's a grown-up, but, you know, she's an individual. Hey, Rohead, look! She's just, like, sleepwalking. She went into the lab! But well, we all know Liv has zero interest in the lab, Dennis. I slap him. Of course she has interest in the lab! She loves that place! She's gonna go back! Something's wrong, Robohead! We gotta bring her back! I'm gonna bring you back to reality, Dennis! If this turns out to be nothing, Dennis! You think it's okay to be in here? We're trespassing! Uh, Robohead, look! I'm always looking, Dennis. I see everything! Liv, what are you doing?! I hope she just punches him. Liv! Liv! Hello! Ah! Oh, she's... like... possessed! Hey, Liv! Snap out of it! Huh? D Dennis? What are you doing here? I ask that myself all the time. Whoa! Uh, what is this place? Where am I? What? Uh... Liv, you had us worried. You don't remember anything? Emergency. Emergency. Uh-oh! It's the G robot. That The G stands for guard. Intruder detected. Intruder detected. Oh, we're sorry. We we come in peace. B what? Uh-huh. Intruder. Intruder. Robo had help! Oh, I get it. This is a dream. It's a dream, right? Of course, Liv. And as always in your dreams, here comes Robot to save the day. I challenge you to a duel. Intruder detected. Apprehension program activated. This is your guard bot? A glaive with a bubble gun? Well, the glaive makes sense. The bubble gun less so. This is my setup. Yeah. I have the trap gun. It's all right, sort of. Let's get it on. Uh, is my charge anything? That was weird. You see, the trap gun fires invisible shots that fire later. They're not quite invisible. You can see their little the specks of where they are, little pellets. But well, they fire in the direction that you were last at. Uh, Alright, it's time to stop messing around. <laughs> I forgot I had the caboose. What? I blocked it. You heard the blocking sound. Woo. Oh, the trap gun's trapping me. I can't just fire it like that in the air. Oh, but on the ground it doesn't do anything. 
Now the Kaboos bombs uh, pods are powerful. A little slow, a little simple, but they're good enough. I'm getting shellacked. It's, it's not even that my opponent's that good. It's that I'm just trapped playing these garbage things! I was like, the trap gun's not bad, because I remembered you could fire it like this in the air, and then I realized how little damage it does. <laughs> 69 health, I can't be beat. Power mode en engaged. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Listen, that's fine. We'll get arrested, it's okay. But then I activated my time magic, and I said, no, it didn't happen. Let's just move on. The trap gun is a trap. It just does no damage. Decent palms, decent pods, just... I had no damage on my gun. I need the gun damage. I poisonly need gun damage. Alright, let's make it happen, Cap'n. Let's hope my charge is a charge. Oh, he went up first. Ooh. Huh. Ugh. This looks so ugly. The GameCube one looks so much better. Oh. Ugh. I didn't know the Glaive was this tanky. Like, he is just refusing to take damage. Blast him! I'll do my black... my black... my back flip kick! <laughs> that goes forward. All I can say is at least my gun has knockback. <laughs> at least I can knock them back. Nice try, dingus. It's got anti-air qualities in my charge. Because you're gonna go rise up and then kick. Not so tough now when I can fight back. Oh! He landed into his own bomb. That's good. Yahoo. I'm the winner. Yay! You did it, Robohat! What's going on? What is this? What's happening? We'll explain... We'll explain later! We need to get out of here! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wah! Darn. They got in the way. I guess the fun will have to wait until tomorrow. Why are you dressed like that, Dr. Kindrel? I knew they were evil. Only evil people wear purple. Hey, what are you doing out here? Oh, we've been spotted. Huh? Eddie? Billy? And I'm Robohat. So, it was you. I thought we'd messed up somehow. Eddie, why are you here? Can someone explain what's going on here? Hey, we could use a little explaining here, too. Eddie, we should get going. It's too dangerous out here. You're right. You three, follow me. Zoom. Just what in the world is going on? Let's all hide out in Marv's tent. No? Now, will you three explain to me what you're doing out at this hour? Nice old Liv head into the lab on her own and something just didn't seem right. So I grabbed Robohat and we went after her. Haha, <laughs> I guess I must have been sleepwalking. Maybe it was something I ate. I feel like I've been spacing out a lot lately. Anyway, what were you two doing out so late? Out on a date, perhaps? Liv, don't be ridiculous! Oh, Eddie. Why wouldn't you be on a date with Billy? Eddie, is there a... reason? I don't see any problem with telling them, Eddie. It's easier than making up some foolish lie. They are dating! But they're civilians. 
They're not dating? Not entirely. Rohan has a license, after all. Besides, he might be able to help us. I thought he was why you had me fight him, remember? I guess I see your point. Okay. But you three have to promise not to tell anyone. Whoa, you look serious. We're here for the tournament only because it's a good cover story for us. The truth is that we are here on IPC business, heading up a covert investigation. What? Billy's with the IPC too? That explains why you two have been so inseparable. Finally throwing out your dating theory, Liv? No. So, what are you investigating? We found a common thread between the recent spree of Krubber-related crimes. R local criminals have been using the same illegal parts favored by an international crime ring. These parts were far beyond the sort of thing they'd have access to, so we traced their supplies. Turns out the parts are all coming from a single source. Neobrain. Neobrain? But that... that can't be! Yeah, that doesn't make any sense at all! No, it doesn't. And that's what we're finding. We've got zero evidence of any foul play. Our investigation's essentially at a dead end. Yeah, I wouldn't think anyone in Roat's family would knowingly supply criminals. <clears throat> Liv, n my family does not own Neobrain. They merely work for him. That's different. In fact, I would uh, wager that a certain Dr. Kindle has something to do with this. Here's where I come in. No, you're where I come in. Ha 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 I've been tracing a different lead. The money. You follow the money, you find the crime. Or you're just obsessed with money, Billy! Ever think of that? Neobrain draws funding from an international crime syndicate. I doubt they even know about it. But I do know that this syndicate has been planning its own people within Neobrain's operations. And that's what brings Eddie and me together here. Wait! You know who they are? Can't you just arrest them and get it over with? We don't have enough evidence for a strong case yet. We need to catch them red-handed. It's a big operation and they've covered their tracks well. Move too fast and they'll slip away. I want you to look at this. Whoa! That's like Dr. Mars' dad or something! Wow! Who's this? That's one mad-looking weirdo. That's Dr. Mars. <laughs> Dr. Mars' dad is actually Dr. Mars! <laughs> the real Dr. Mars. Oh, that's the real one. Then who's the Dr. Mars that we know? Who's my new dad? Who is he? What? He looks totally different. For one thing, he's a lot younger. Are you sure about that? <laughs> that guy did not... Oh, oh, the current one is a lot younger than that picture. Okay. Wait until you hear the best part. The real Dr. Mars died years ago. What? So who's Dr. Mars? I mean, I mean the one we've met. He's one of the people from the Syndicate. Is that what you guys are saying? I hope his real name's like Obero for no reason. I don't know, but it's suspicious, certainly. He's clearly an imposter. We'd start poking around in the lab for evidence when those security robots went crazy. Oh, uh, that was probably our fault. Sorry. Also, here's just a point. Security robots activating when intruders are detected. A little odd, I would say, right? No! Of course they're supposed to act up! Oh! Don't be too hard on yourself. We'd already given up. Security's just too tight in there. No, you're too tight in there, Eddie. Anyway, I'm glad to see you're all safe. We need to keep our eyes open during the tournament. There's no telling what might happen. Well, there will be a live TV crew on site, so I'm guessing they won't do anything drastic. But that doesn't mean we should let our guard down. Hmm. What's wrong, Liv? You alright? Hmm. Huh? Oh, oh, nothing. I must be tired. Busy day today. You don't look good. I'll take you to your room. I appreciate that. Hehe. <laughs> good night, everyone. This is where Billy realizes that she was brainwashed and then undoes the brainwashing, right? Or at the very least, discovers the brainwasher. A little sh sleep I should put everything right. We should get some sleep, too. Rowan, rest up for the tournament tomorrow. You're right! Dennis... I want you to know this, Dennis. I was about to sleep, and then you... You! 
you stop me, Dennis. We wouldn't want to be exhausted during the tournament. Good night, Eddie. What do you mean, we, Dennis? It doesn't matter if you're exhausted. Oh. This whole tournament is starting to get really complex. I hope nothing goes wrong tomorrow. Haha, <laughs> I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. Dennis, remember I was blaming that those, like, doctors, nurses, whatever, medics, saying they jinxed everything? It was you, Dennis! You jinxed everything! Good luck, Robohat. I'll be rooting for you. Dennis! Open this door! Dennis! <sighs> well, let's see if I can actually go to sleep. For real, this time. Oh my god, Dennis! Were you asleep, Rohat? Dennis, I swear. Now I can't go to sleep. Oh, and I can't either, because it's you! It's you, Dennis! <sighs> I'm probably just wired from all the action tonight. I was thinking maybe your robo parts could use a little maintenance. Let me take a look. Good, Rohat, you're all set for tomorrow. Dennis, what'd you do to my parts, Dennis? Are you brainwashed too? Am I going to suddenly malfunction? Be unable to use parts tomorrow, Dennis? Dennis? Haha, <laughs> okay, I think I can sleep easy now. Good night. Dennis? I'm... I'm upset. So anyway, I woke up the next day. I think. It's possible I just spaced out and just... <laughs> popped my eyes open. Alright. Uh... Listen, I've had enough of Dennis for one time. Next time, we commence the tournament! I'll see you then.